The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? Turing tests are tests designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. They really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So, what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? The crew are deeper inside the base, it seems. <sighs> they must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. I am working to regain control. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours.
So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind, two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite, and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. This is the command center. 
You can check on the crew status from here. Tom, stop recording. I am always recording, Daniel. The day is January the 6th. My watch says it's 2.30 on Earth. Here we are, members of the human race, standing on Jupiter's moon Europa. I am Captain Daniel McLean. I'm joined here by the rest of my team. It is our intention to make this moon our home and investigate life on this planet. Man's curiosity and appetite for discovery And might I add my congratulations to you all. Mikhail, you seem distant. Do I? Yes. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mikhail? Mikhail? What condition should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. 
Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars, but Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. <laughs>